Hi, welcome to the DFSS planning cycle training. This is planning cycle training part one. This training is intended for the Citywide Parent Policy Council of the Chicago Department of Family and Support Services Head Start Grants. This is the first part of a three part training. You can watch all of the trainings or just the ones you're interested in. The planning cycle training has three parts. First, overview and community needs assessment. Second, self-assessment. And third, monitoring and program goals. This training is the planning cycle training overview and community needs assessment. This is a visualization of the planning cycle for Head Start Early Learning programs. On the far left, you can see the three components or conditions that shape early childhood programs. On the top is community needs. Next, research and best practices in early learning and child development. And three, program performance standards. And these include Head Start program performance standards and the Head Start Act, State of Illinois Early Learning Standards, Chicago Early Learning Standards, CELS 2.0, and also DCFS licensing, uniform guidance, and other rules and regulations that govern the funding sources that support Chicago early learning. Programs for children, early childhood programs, should be responsive to these three conditions. Programs also need to have goals and objectives. Why are they doing what they're doing? What do they hope to accomplish? What do they need to do better? CELS program's overarching goal is to support children and families so that children thrive across all four of the developmental domains. These domains are physical, cognitive, social, and emotional development. Thriving across these domains leads to school readiness and in the long term, life readiness. How does monitoring fit into the planning cycle? We can talk about external monitoring and internal monitoring. External monitoring is when an outside agency comes into a program to monitor it for compliance and its responsivity to community needs and best practices. DFSS goes out and monitors delegate agencies and their program sites and the Office of Head Start monitors DFSS for the same. Internal monitoring can take two forms, at least. First, all programs should have some system of internal monitoring to ensure that they maintain compliance with different standards, such as class size, class ratios, et cetera. But also, part of internal monitoring is the self-assessment, which is when a, a program takes a breath and does a self-reflection about how it's doing. What does it need to improve? What does it need to do better to meet the goals and objectives of the program, to be in compliance with standards, to meet community needs? The point of all monitoring, whether it's internal or external, or the self-assessment is to be in better compliance, to strengthen programs, and to be more responsive to community needs. The round table is when internal and external monitoring come together. Round tables are part of the monitoring cycle. What happens at this round table is that External monitoring reports are compared with internal self-assessments. And out of that, and revised goals and objectives may be created, and an action plan for program improvement will be created. For Head Start programs, those two pieces get expressed in the annual grant application. So one of the foundational pieces of the planning cycle is the community needs assessment, community assessment. What is the community assessment and what is required? 
The community assessment is only required for Head Start funded programs. Head Start delegate agencies submit a community assessment for their entire programs. The elements required in the community assessment can be found in the Head Start Program Performance Standard 1302.11. Basically, what the community assessment asks for is key information about the children and family in an agency's service area. They want to know what sorts of services for children are available in the area. Not only the Head Start program, but is there pre-K? Are there private programs and the like? Are there other agencies providing Head Start? They also lastly want to know what kinds of resources are available for families in the service area. And lastly, they want to know the strengths of the community. That is the strengths of the service area. Why do we need a community assessment? It helps with planning, especially Head Start program planning that has some significant requirements. First of all, it helps a program determine where seats for children should be put. Where should classrooms be? At this site or that site? In this service area or that service area? Especially since many of our programs have locations in different parts of the city. It helps create the selection criteria or helps determining who is going to be prioritized for enrollment. One needs to know what the qualities of the children and families are in the community to determine if one gets more applications than one has seats for, who will be prioritized for enrollment. It helps determine program models and options. In the service area, would the families prefer full day or half day? Would they benefit from full year or part year? What kind of program model fits their needs? Center-based, family child care homes, or home-based home visiting programs? What program goals and objectives does a program have to work on for improvement? And lastly, what sorts of community partnerships need to be developed so that agencies can refer families for additional services that they don't provide? Who conducts a community assessment? Each Head Start funded delegate agency must complete and submit an annual community assessment. For the annual community assessment, DFSS provides a format which aligns with the annual grant application narrative. That is the annual Head Start grant application narrative that each Head Start funded delegate agency must submit. That narrative includes qualitative and quantitative data about the children, families, and communities the agency serves. In addition, each Head Start delegate agency must conduct a comprehensive community assessment once every five years or a quinquennial community assessment. For this quinquennial community assessment, the agency can design a format that best fits their needs and their programs. They can set their own timetable for it. All they have to do is make sure that they do it once a year and they include the data indicators and the points that are required of the Head Start program performance standards. In addition to delegate agencies, DFSS as the Head Start grantee must complete both the annual community assessment and a comprehensive five-year community assessment. For the annual community assessment, DFSS updates several data indicators that are publicly available through community assessment websites, which I'll share with you on the next slide. These websites are updated annually with updated data from various sources, including the Chicago Department of Public Health, the Illinois Department of Public Health, the American Community Survey, or the Census, and other locations and agencies. In addition, we conduct a comprehensive community assessment once every five years. Typically, this process takes two to three years 
to uh, undertake. And we work with a research institution to help us. Not only do we collect uh, data indicators from public agencies like CBPH and American Community Surveys, and we analyze uh, five-year trends uh, with them. Um, we also conduct surveys with our agencies and with parents, and we also conduct focus groups. So here are the websites for the community assessment that are updated annually that you can visit and um, noodle around in. The first one is Young Children in Chicago. This website provides basic data about um, children and families in Chicago. It's organized citywide or by community area. The second one, the Community Needs Assessment Tool. As a user, you can open that up and draw a map of a service area and the program will provide you all the data that we have within that perimeter. For the early childhood care program supply and demand, this talks about how many children are eligible for program, how many children are enrolled in programs, and what kind of programs exist out in Chicago communities. This too, like young children in Chicago, is organized by community area. The 2019 Community Assessment was the last comprehensive community assessment the department conducted. This is available on the DFSS website and you can download it. The Community Assessment is typically, the, the five-year Community Assessment is done in preparation for the five-year Head Start grant cycle. So this last one was done in 2019, released in February, and the next one will be done in 2024 or released, I should say, in 2024. If you have any questions about the community needs assessment, you can contact me, Beth Stover, at elizabeth.stover at cityofchicago.org, or you can contact some of my colleagues who also work on the community assessment, Tasha Smith and Michael Terma. This concludes the first part of planning cycle training. Please look for the next part self-assessment. Thank you.